Hi and welcome to another CC tutorial. I make Sims videos and sometimes I try to make these easy slash beginner friendly CC tutorials, but I have noticed that somehow I've never ever made any kind of build tutorial, like there's no wallpaper or tiles tutorial on my channel at all. How did that happen? I don't know, but all that matters is that there is a wallpaper slash flooring tutorial on this channel as of right now. I figured if I'm going to do a wallpaper slash flooring tutorial, might as well do tiles, since I feel like there isn't enough options for tiles in The Sims 4, and I also figured might as well make matching walls and tiles, as again, it appears that sometimes floors and walls do not match that well in The Sims 4, in particular, again, in the tiles category. So let's move on to the tutorial. Now, in order to follow this tutorial, you'll need Sims 4 Studio and a photo editor. Any photo editor will do. I always use GIMP for pretty much anything Photoshop related. Sims 4 Studio and GIMP are both completely free to use and download links will be in the description. First, open Sims 4 Studio. Over here under Build, make sure Standalone Recolor is selected and then click Build. Now, anyone that's used Sims 4 Studio before will know that this catalog can look a bit messy. I'll sort it by walls and then base game to make it a little bit easier to navigate. But you know, it still took a while for me to find wallpaper that I want and I decided on this one. So select it and then click next. Right now what you're saving is a .package file. That is the file that goes to your game. So save it to your mods folder. The exact path is documents, EA, Sims 4 and then mods. Even if you don't save it there right now, you'll eventually have to move this file there if you want it in your game. Name it whatever you want and save. Now this is what it looks like in The Sims 4 Studio. This is the short wall height, medium one and then this is the tall wall height. What we'll need to do is that we'll need to recolor each of these separately. Over here to the side, select textures. And then down here under texture, make sure diffuse is selected. And below it, you have textures of each wall height. So short, medium, tall. Now what we need to do is that we need to get each of these three images out so that we can edit them. You can do it separately. So, you know, you can click on the short wall and then export, medium, export, tall, export. However, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to do all together at once. So I'll just click export all. Right now I'm just saving a dot PNG images that I'll edit. Choose a folder where you want to save your images to. This can be anywhere you want and then click save. Once saved, open each image separately in your photo editor, which again for me is GIMP. Before I start editing these photos, I'm going to create a dot package file for flooring as well so that I can recolor them all together at once so that the swatches on both wallpapers and the tiles match perfectly. So open another Sims 4 Studio window. Under Build, again, make sure Standalone Recolor is selected and then click Build. This time I'll sort it by floor and again by base game. And I'll look for the tiles that I want. And I want this one. Click on it, then click Next and save the .package file to your mods folder. Again, you can name it whatever you want. And save. This is our tile. Same thing as with walls. First, go to textures. And you want to take this image out so that we can edit it. To do that, click export right here and save your .png file. Again, you can name that one whatever you want. You can also save that one wherever you want. Once saved, open it in your photo editor. And now we have all walls and the floor, so I can edit them all at the same time so that they match perfectly. I'm going to start with this one. I'll go to colors and then colorize. Here you can select any color you want. I was thinking a subtle green because I feel like we don't really have a lot of nice simple green tiles. And once I got my color, I click OK. And now let's move on to the next wall size. Again, go to colors and then colorize. And now you see this drop down menu next to presets. Well, if you open it, there are several options here. Well, at least for me, there are several options. It really depends on how much you used this colorize option. 
because these are pretty much just the colors that I had previously used in this colorized window. The very first one is the most recent one that I had used, which, you know, the most recent one for me is the green one that I had just used. So if I select that, my wallpaper tiles are the exact shade of green as the previous ones. You can also save your color by pressing this plus button right here and then it'll save it as a new preset for you and then you can pretty much use it anytime you want. Once you're done, just click OK. And let's move on to the next wall size. Again, go to colors and then colorize. In the drop down menu, select a preset you used on the previous tiles, which is this latest preset and click OK. And finally, let's do the floor tiles as well so that they can match with the wall. Go to color, colorize and select the latest preset you used. And there you have it. All of these now match. You can, of course, as always, do more colors. I also did a blue one and a pink one just for, you know, the sake of the tutorial. However, you can do as much swatches as you wish. Once you're done with your swatches, it's time to save them. Just save each new swatch by clicking File and then Export. You can name it whatever you want and then click Export again. Just repeat that for different swatches that you made and also do the exact same thing for other wall heights. Saving each swatch you made and eventually save the flooring swatches as well. Once you have all of your swatches saved, Go back to the Sims 4 Studio and import the images that you had just made. So while the short wall height is selected, click Import, find your picture and import it into the Sims 4 Studio. Do the same thing for the medium wall height. While the medium wall height is selected, click Import, find a picture and import it. Again, tall wall height, import, find the picture and import. If you have more swatches, you can add them by simply clicking add new swatch right here at the top and then again import new swatches accordingly to each wall height. Do that for all your swatches. Once you're done, don't forget to click save. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for the floor tile. Open the floor tile in the Sims 4 Studio and then right here under textures, click import and import the new swatch that you had just made. Again, if you have multiple swatches, just add the new swatch and keep importing your new images. Repeat it until you have all of your swatches done. And of course, again, don't forget to click save. And also, don't forget to test it in the game, especially if you're planning on uploading your creation online. To test it, I'm just going to open the game then I'll be greeted with my mod window and my wall and my floor should be here, which they are. Now, if this window does not pop up, it probably means that your mods aren't turned on. To turn your mods on, go to the game options, other, and then turn on all of your mods, including script mods. Once you've saved your changes, you'll also need to restart your game, you know, in order for changes to take effect, aka for the mods to appear in your game. But let's test our tiles. Okay, so I made this little fake stage just to test the tiles, sort by custom content. And here is the wall. And here is the floor. Can you see how nicely these match? Here are the blue tiles matching nicely and the pink ones matching nicely as well. I don't understand why EA doesn't always do it like this. Especially since I'm pretty sure they probably have way better and way more professional technology to do, you know, what we just did, or at least they should, or well, I hope they do. But to be fair, you know, they're a lot better nowadays than what they were in the beginning. But there's still a lot of tiles that I kind of don't know what to do with, like the, the, the vampire flooring, or all of these wall tiles with absolutely no matching floor tiles. I don't know, this is a tutorial, not a video about me complaining, which um, I have a few of those as well, if that's more of your thing. But anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, comment below what kind of tutorials or just content you'd like to see next. Feel free to look around my channel and if you guys are interested in what I do, you can always support me by subscribing to my channel. It really doesn't cost you anything and to me it means a world. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my 
next video.